these 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 bureaucrats are not even disagreeing with you. They're saying in the Economist magazine and Room P and the new head of the EU are all saying, yes, we're going to set the rules and you can't vote on it. Yes, we're going to send tax collectors into your country. Yes, we're going to do whatever we want. Why, why are they so arrogant and will it backfire on them? They're arrogant because they hold the cards at the moment. You know, they, they are in possession of the status quo. It is the tyranny of the status quo. But you're quite right about that arrogance. I, this afternoon, I, I, I met Mr. Monty, who is, who is now the appointed Prime Minister of Italy. And he was effectively just sticking two fingers up to us and saying, look, I'm in charge, whether you like it or not, this is the way that it's going to be. Wow, so when you met, uh, just briefly, when you met with Mario today, the, the technocrat yeah. installed by the EU uh, weasels, I mean, what did he say to you? What, what did you ask him? I said he had no legitimacy at all, uh, that he was an appointee, uh, that he'd spent his life as a European commissioner and working for Goldman Sachs, and that he represented all that was worth in this whole new global government movement that you talk about so often on your program. And his response is that uh, the crisis is so serious that democracy has to be suspended just for a short while so that we can sort everything out. I mean, are you seeing a change in their spirit uh, as they lose momentum? Interestingly, six months ago, there was a sort of feeling of blind panic over here. Everything was going wrong. They were terrified, and, and you could see the fear on their faces. I'm not seeing any fear at all now. It's as if perpetual crisis has become a new form of government, and they now realize they can, that they can actually get away with almost anything. At least they think they can get away with anything. For a country the size of Italy to have somebody like this man, Monty, appointed to take it over, and for that to have happened, they are completely out of control. Isn't it really? You know, if you think about it, um, it, is, it is the state and the big banks wanting to control absolutely everybody's lives. They couldn't give a damn about how much human suffering and misery they cause. They're stripping away that the, the basic fundament of liberty, of democracy, of all, all the things that we in the West um, have held dear for years. Um, and, and, and I have to say that for many, many years over here, I was a very lonely voice. Uh, but I tell you what, I'm hearing more voices now.